Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to be making a uh, quick video here, uh, try to be quick as I can, just going through uh, some of the audio equipment I have so you guys can uh, see how it all sounds. Um, I won't be doing any editing at all to the audio, so I'm just going to post the video as is, and I'll be standing in front of the camera talking and just saying stuff so uh, you know how it sounds, and I'll kind of go through details if I can quickly, I don't want to make this too long. Um, so we're going to be testing out the Stereo Video Mic X there, the Stereo Video Mic Pro, the Rode Filmmaker Kit, it's a wireless kit, the Panasonic Lumix Shotgun Microphone, uh, it's phantom powered, it's powered by the auxiliary port. Um, I don't use it too much, I just bought it because it was on for a super good deal, so uh, yeah. That's pretty much how I shop anyway, so, uh, Rode Lavalier, uh, we're going to be using that with a mixture of things, uh, I'll explain after, uh, Smart Lav, that here, the Rode, um, right here, I don't know where the hell the box is, it's probably in back with all my other Panasonic boxes, but that's the Video Mic Pro shotgun mic, uh, we have the GoPro there, um, with the stereo mic that came with, uh, it was a kit and it came with the microphone too. Um, so we're going to be try, we're going to probably use the uh, Smart Lab here on with the GoPro and along use this lavalier with the Filmmaker kit just because I have, I have the M Micon uh, Rode 1 and 2 adapters. Um, so yeah, and then the two at the back there, the two in the Ziploc bags, uh, those are just like one of the first cheaper wireless sets that I got um, that I first used and I do get a lot of static from them. I don't use them anymore. Um, that's why they're in Ziploc bags. They have their own batteries. I just give them to friends if they want to b borrow them for whatever reason. So uh, yeah, so um, that's about it. Um, let's get started. Uh, don't mind my stuttering. I do have a little bit of a stutter, so I mean, it's a speech impediment, but it's all good. I try to hide it, but you'll obviously be able <laughs> to hear me, uh, when I'm talking, so let's get started. Okay, so first we're, um, we are going to start off with the Stereo Video Mic X from Rode. Um, I'm talking as if we're just sitting down having coffee um, I mean I'm not talking very loud or very quiet just kind of how you would talk to someone um, for the camera all the camera uh, I'm filming with the Panasonic GH4 and if you want to know what kind of lens it's just my SLR Magic uh, 25mm T.95 um, so don't mind if the focus is a bit off, that's why I have this uh, other tripod here. Uh, it was just kind of to see where about I could get the focus into. Uh, right now for this, um, the frequency boost is off. Um, the high pass filter is at zero. And we are looking at, I think, zero decibels right now. So we're going to go back and uh, switch them fast here. We're going to turn um, to 75 hertz here for the high pass filter, and we'll just go to minus tw uh, minus 10 decibels here. Um, again, there's I'm filming downstairs in the basement, so there's going to probably not be uh, too much noise anyway. Um, so this is a minus 10 again um, probably not very loud obviously so uh, let's go back and switch it up this is at zero and plus 20 um, obviously again this is going to be very loud um, I'm not going to be adjusting any audio or anything with all the camera stuff that I'm going into so um, yeah so that's pretty much it I'm gonna go back down to zero now and turn on the high frequency boost there we go I uh, put the high frequency boost which is 
six up and I just turned the high pass filter from 75 to 150 hertz so again I'm filming downstairs in my basement so probably not too much to hear I don't know what the camera might pick up might pick up the furnace or something like that uh, the only thing I have on here is my computer and the pot of lights here and that's pretty much it and the camera of course uh, so let's um, move on now Alright, here's the second one here. Uh, this is the Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. Kind of like the v Video Mic X, but uh, this one isn't ad um, as advanced. Uh, right now it's just set to zero. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn that to minus uh, 10 first. Obviously, it's going to be a lot more quiet. Um, you could probably use that for if you're in a bar or in a club or whatever at, at the reception, uh, things like that, just so it's not overly too loud. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch it to plus 20 now. Now, again, this is going to be probably fairly loud, so I won't talk too long. Uh, you just want to use this to film outside, out in the open, hear all the birds and all that, so yeah. Now we're back to zero. Um, again, camera settings all the same, so we're just uh, hearing what the microphones are. Um, it is, um, I did turn up the high pass filter switch, which is just past the on. Um, yeah, so I'm, again, I'm um, downstairs, so you might not uh, hear too much anyway. Uh, we'll find out uh, once I upload it and see if you guys can hear anything or not. So yeah, that's it for the Stereo Video Mic Pro. Alright, so now we are using the Rode Video Mic Pro shotgun mic. Um, yeah. Um, right now it's set to zero. Um, it just has the regular uh, cover on it. I do have a windscreen for it here, um, which I don't use too often, but um, yeah, uh, let's go back there. We're going to put it to minus 10 now. so you can see how it sounds um, yeah I'm not talking very loud I'm just talking as if you're sitting down having some coffee or stuff like that so uh, yeah let's turn it up to plus 20 now which will be very loud I'm gonna try not to talk too long because it's probably fairly loud um, I'm right in front of the shotgun mic, so, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for now, because it's obviously very loud. Okay, now here's back to zero with the high pass filter switch on. Um, one thing I do want to talk quick, uh, quick about is, uh, the next microphone we're going to be testing is the Panasonic MS2. Um, it's phantom powered, so it's powered by, uh, by the auxiliary port. And um, for these, it's kind of neat because you um, there's no adjustments on it. It's all adjusted from within the camera because the Panasonic cameras recognize the microphone, uh, which is also a stereo mic and a shotgun mic in here. Um, so it's kind of neat. So um, I'll talk about it more as soon as we switch over. So just so you can compare the two right off the hop. All right. So here's the Panasonic MS2 shotgun mic. I heard my phone go off here. Sorry. Um, 
so yeah, um, just so you can compare the two, so maybe you can backtrack and just kind of compare. Um, but I think they're almost the same, it's just uh, adjustments have to be made inside the camera if you want to raise it to positive 6 decibels or all the way down to m minus 12. Um, again, the camera's just set at 0 right now. Um, so this is just testing the shotgun. Uh, the reason why I like this one is because you get to control the width of the shotgun of um, how far you want to go with it. So that's what we're going to test out here shortly. So let's go back. I'm going to have to turn it off and we're going to have to go into the stereo. Alright, so here's the stereo mode for the shotgun mic. Um, I don't use the uh, stereo actually, I don't think I've used the stereo for anything, so it'll be kind of interesting for me to see as well. I just don't use stereo mics that often, other than my Rode VideoMic X, um, which I do use the, I finally got the cables for the P48 balance uh, TA3F cables. Uh, tiny XLRs into regular access, uh, XLRs to go into the DMWYAGH interface that I have and you can get some pretty good audio from that. Um, when the GH5 comes out in a couple weeks here I'll be getting the XLR1 adapter for the GH5 and it's kind of the same similar thing um, as the YAGH interface but I like that one a lot better but Obviously, I can't say that until I try out the XLR1. So, um, yeah, so let's switch it up now into Super Shotgun mode. <clears throat> okay, so this is um, on Super Shotgun mode, which is pretty much as narrow as it can get. Um, it does have the manual mode as well, so you get to control how far out you want to go for the shotgun mic. Um, I think this one is all the way in, so if I, let's see, I'm not sure if, um, I'll step off to the side here. I'm not too sure if you can tell the audio difference at all. I'm talking the same um, as I always do, so we'll come back over here. I'll step a little bit further out. Further out, um, I'm about, um, back over here, I'm about 15 feet away-ish, probably a bit more. Um, I'll step about six feet away and um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the, the difference or not. Um, you might, you might not be able to. I'll go out a little bit more. Um, I'm not too sure if it's going to pick it up or not, so we'll come back in. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the MS2 shotgun mic. Um, yeah, okay, let's go on to the next now. Okay, so now we are testing out one of my favorite kits. I have two of these kits. Uh, the Rode Filmmaker Kit. Um, got these on sale for smoking deal. It was pretty much buy one, get one free, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, right now, I have the settings on zero um, on the transmitter, on the receiver. I have it at zero as well, which is pretty loud. Uh, on here, we're going to go to positive 10, which is going to be probably super loud. Here's positive 10. Again, it's just uh, here. I have the microphone right on my jacket here. Probably very loud. Uh, we'll go to plus 20 real quick. Here it is, uh, positive 20. Probably very loud again. I'm just talking as if we're just sitting down having coffee. Positive 10 sitting down as if we're having coffee, and zero just sitting down have, having coffee. Accidentally hit the sink button, so I had to press it again. Um, yeah, the thing I like about these, they screw on, so you, you, uh, the groom can't knock it out by accident if he sits down and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, let's go back to the receiver 
change that to minus 10, which is what I keep it on. And uh, we'll see how good it sounds for you guys. Um, that's what I always have it at. I do keep this one on zero though. So let's come back here. <coughs> Okay, there we go. Uh, this is what the setting I keep it at when I hook up to the good room or the efficient. Um, it's a nice perfect lowness. Um, the furnace is on, turned on right now. So you might be able to pick that up on this microphone possibly. Um, I can hear it from here. So the microphone might pick it up and might not, but I think it is. Um, yeah, so if I go to plus 10 now on here, it's pretty much just going to balance it out how it was the way it was before. And here's plus 20. Here's plus 10 and back to zero, which is what I always keep it on with the receiver at my minus 10. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to minus 20 now. All right, so here it is at minus 20 right now on the receiver. Um, this is at zero, obviously, so um, let's go to positive 10. Again, here's positive 10, just talking the normal, sitting down, having, uh, having coffee. Positive 20, just chilling out, sitting down, having coffee. Let's go back to 10, plus 10 here, and... Here is zero, so it might not be as loud. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Uh, let's move on to the next stuff here. All right, uh, these are one of the first microphones that I used um, for a ceremony, and they do pick up a lot of static. Um, I don't use them anymore. I just give them to friends if they want to borrow them. Um, they do have a headphone port as well. Um, they're just kind of the cheaper things. Uh, they're Tech Pro. Uh, there's a lot of companies uh, that sell the exact same thing. They just have a different name on them because I have two of the uh, kits here. And yeah, so um, we're going to uh, switch, a lav, uh, switch the lav here to um, a road lavalier, see if that changes anything. Um, again, I don't use these ones. Oops. Whoopsies, got all my stuff here, jeez. Um, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and we're gonna quickly take this out. Uh, again, I'm just talking fine here. Um, Talking as if we're sitting down having some coffee. All right, so we're gonna just clip this one on my other side here. And this is the road lavalier. So here it goes. sitting down as if we're talking, just having some coffee, everything's all good.
focus on. There we go. Um, we'll see if it picks up this audio or not, see if it changes anything. Uh, let's go back here with the smart lav and with the lav it came with. Again, this just came with the regular one. Um, yeah, so I'm talking fine as if we're sitting down having coffee. We're going to switch to the Rode Smart Lab. Again, just sitting down, having some coffee, talking fine. Um, it didn't pick up this other lavalier because the ends of the cables, uh, um, the, aux the, like, the auxiliary part, uh, the one has three bands and the lavalier Rode Micon 2 only has two bands, so it's not picking up a signal with this particular type of um, headset here. Um, so maybe I might try one on the Rode Filmmaker uh, kit, but it'll probably do the same thing. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, see how it sounds. <coughs> Alright, so uh, here again is the Rode Filmmaker kit. I'm just going to have the receiver at minus 10 and the transmitter at zero. Uh, this is what I always have it on. Um, I forgot to do the test with the lavalier mic with the other one here. We'll see if it makes a difference at all. I don't think it will, but let's try it out here. So. Uh, I have both of the mics on me, so let's take one out and put in the other. And the LED went red for a second, now it's green, so that means we are connected. Um, I am using the Rode Micon 1 and not the Micon 2. The Micon 1 is the one where you have to thread it on. Um, again, I'm just talking fine, uh, talking just as if we're sitting down, having coffee, uh, I'm not sure if it's able to pick up anything else, if there's static or if there's some sort of interference with the lav with the lavalier mic going into the road link kit, um, we'll find out. This is my actually first time trying it because I don't use this cable for these. Um, so let's take it off again and go back to the lav mic it came with. Here we go. And signal. Should be back on now. Um... Yeah, so I'm kind of interested to see if it'll make an audio difference or not, if it's more cleaned up or if there's more static, if there's more filter noise or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, that's the test there and I think we're pretty much done. Okay, so here's pretty much the GoPro now. Um, with the stereo mic on it. Um, I'm about 10 feet away from it, so um, haven't really tested out the audio for this. Uh, when I was in a couple states away, um, I filmed a friend's mm -hmm. wedding and we we're just in the electronics store and saw that and I was like, oh cool, because it comes with a lavalier too. So I thought I'd give it a shot because it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 60 bucks. So you get the little USB powered port that leads off into the female auxiliary. And then you can hook up the stereo microphone, which is on now. And then um, the lavalier mic, which is what we're going to switch to now. So I'll just clip this on me. It's long too. They made this very long. It's probably like a uh, yeah, it's a six foot cable. So all right, I have it uh, clipped onto my vest. Um, 
not too sure um, if it's still picking up audio. Hopefully it is. Um, I'll find out when it's on the computer. I just don't like to disconnect things like that and um, plug them back in. I always like to turn everything off, but I'm not too worried about it because it's just my GoPro. Um, so now let's now let's plug in the lavalier mic from Rode now uh, with the mic on uh, two. Uh, kind of interested to see what kind of results it will give us. If, if, if any, because I'm not too sure how this audio sounds right now with the mic it came with. Okay, so let's unplug it. And here is the road lavalier. Um, not sure exactly. We'll f <laughs> see what it sounds like when I have it on the computer and upload it. Um, I'm not sure if we'll notice anything. We might notice something. Um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much all I'm going to say for now for that. We'll try plug in the smart lav and see if that'll pick anything up uh, i'm not sure it will or not um so let's take out the road lavalier now All right, and uh, here's pretty much the last test. Uh, this is the smart lav that's meant for smartphones. Uh, we did use this on a couple of uh, a couple of times on the road link and on the other one and on the GoPro. And uh, sometimes it didn't pick up the audio, so obviously you didn't hear anything for that 30 seconds. Uh, sorry about that, but this is all a test, so. Um, here we are in Premiere. Uh, it's almost done. It's about almost a half hour. I try to make it as quick as I can. So it's going to be a little bit longer now just because I'm adding this footage in as well. Um, not sure how good the audio is or what, what it's all picking up right now. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I did want to mention a couple of other things. Um, for shotgun mics, I have this extension camo. Uh, extension cable that the Panasonic MS2 came with. Um, it's about a 10 foot uh, cord. It's an auxiliary port with a female end on it. So I have like a tiny tripod with a hot shoe mount. So um, I plug it into the camera and I put it 10 feet away from the camera so I can put it closer to the to um, the altar, things like that, right? So um, you get that much closer with the shotgun mic. Um, other than that, um, smaller things I forgot to mention during, um, I don't quite remember now, it's too late. So, um, hope this helps any of you to make some decisions. Again, um, we were, I, I mean, I was filming downstairs in the basement, so I mean, you couldn't really, um, hear too much or of what anything truly sounded like if you were filming at the reception or at a ceremony or whatever the case may be. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys, uh, to make your decisions, and now I have a mess to clean up here. Um, isn't too bad, but I have to charge all my stuff anyway, so, um, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much about it, so thanks for watching the video, and hope, hope you guys enjoy it.